quite an Olympian effort on the part of the orchestra to play so gracefully and accurately with such amazing feeling and groove. And that's Olympian. I didn't really think about a working title for this project until we were in the middle of it and starting to record this music. Uh, it, of course, it was done in a very special way during the Corona times. And partly an idea of Martine to, to use this otherwise uh, non-stage period where the orchestra was working in the studio to, to make a recording of my music uh, remotely with me in Los Angeles. And, um, I just thought that quite an Olympian effort on the part of the orchestra to play so gracefully and accurately with such amazing feeling and groove. It would be a great chance to record Finn's music because usually this orchestra is uh, known for uh, doing every week a new project and have no time actually to look back because there's a new one coming which is very interesting, but uh, the older I get, the more I go for quality. So I was like, okay, now it's maybe time that we can spend really a lot of time at this music, which is very demanding, very, very demanding. And also the person behind it is very demanding. And I was just amazed about everybody's en uh, energy and enthusiasm. And uh, we were uh, having an app group also sending our recordings of the rhythm section and then everybody was working with that at home to check the part. So it was really nice. So everybody got into the details. And then Vince could really listen to all the details also more separately now. The overarching story of this record has to do with the relationship that I've had with the Metropole Orchestra since 1995. And the earliest piece that uh, we recorded uh, it's, it's really a, a rearrangement of a piece of mine called Esperanza, which I remember us reading in this Studio 3 in, in 1995. I think that was even before yeah, you were case. here, right? And uh, how during that project, we both realized that, that we had uh, the beginnings of a, a great relationship. I, I saw uh, so many possibilities in the musicianship of the orchestra, but um, but also their enthusiasm and the way they related to each other and um, how they liked each other, <laughs> and 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 how we had a, a really great working rhythm. They, they were interested in the in the ideas that I had, and that's the best you can imagine from a orchestra uh, that they will take your music and handle it with, with care and enthusiasm. But we chose this music uh, to represent the relationship that I've had with the orchestra over the years. And some of them were, were rearranged uh, to, to make them a little bit um, you know, fresher and, and more current with the, the uh, personnel and soloists. We all agreed that at least Partido Alto really should be on it. Kichot also. Right. They were really the strong new pieces, the newer pieces. The newer pieces. And, and so beautifully uh, written that we thought like, okay. And we didn't have time to play it well yet. I mean, that's all how we felt. Right. I actually thought the opposite. I, I chose the, the, the later pieces, but I also thought about the pieces that we had played on stage quite often and found that they that the orchestra really vibrated so well with them and you know Quixote is a good example that you know, we played it on stage a few times and I felt that the orchestra really got it they, they understood what was happening when when I'm writing uh, and you might notice this too that that a lot of what uh, I write for the orchestra has to do with uh, what we feel from the rhythm section, and in particular this rhythm section, the, the, the music that I write for the orchestra has to do with what I'm feeling, or at least what I yeah. anticipate I'm going to feel from the, the, this rhythm section and the way that they play. Um, 
is reflected in the the performance of the strings or the brass or yeah. the soloists. And it's also so great because you emphasize this always so much. Also, it also made us more responsible also for all these things. So uh, I remember playing your music in the beginning when I was young. I missed so many details still because there there are so many details. Mm -hmm. And and, and uh, with the years of all the comments you gave, it also right. it never ended. So it's right. great. Yeah, but it's a uh, particularly uh, difficult chair to play in this orchestra, especially with music like this, because you have to first and foremost make it feel good, but you have all of these other things that you need to do. Yeah, you have to pretend like it's normal. Right, yeah, yeah. right, yeah. yeah. yeah.